the Bargeist Coach. Walking through the graveyard of St. Mary's Church can be a fascinating way to spend a lazy summer's afternoon. Situated atop the cliff next to the ruined abbey, the blackened and weathered old tombstones hide in the long grass. Among them is a memorial to those great whalers, the Scoresbys, father and son, who dominated English whaling in the early 19th century. Here, too, are the graves of the men who drowned in the great lifeboat disaster of 1861. And then there are the many graves of Whitby's seamen and master mariners, those who ended their days peacefully at home, those who ended them not so peacefully on some fever-ridden island or at the hands of cutthroats in some tawdry port, and finally those who were simply swallowed up at the whim of the great oceans. When night falls, however, this hill of the dead puts on an eerie cloak of light and shadow, and one can easily imagine the arrival of one of Whitby's most ghastly apparitions, the Bargeist Coach. The present-day visitor need not fear that he might see the terrifying sight, for the old graveyard has long been disused, and the Bargeist Coach only manifests itself at one particular time. On the night after a burial of a seaman in the graveyard, a great black funeral coach, pulled by six coal-black horses, would appear without warning, galloping down Green Lane, the narrow road which runs beside the abbey, lit by the light of blazing torches, carried by two outriders dressed all in black. It was driven by a ghostly coachman whose features were hidden by a voluminous black velvet cloak. Careering furiously along the lane and ignoring all that lay in its path, the coach would enter the graveyard and suddenly shudder to a halt by the newly made grave of the dead seaman. The door creaked open and out would step a long procession of wraith-like mourners clothed in black who paraded silently around the grave. After their third passage, the dead man was seen to rise from his grave, join the party of mourners, and both he and they returned to the waiting coach. The coach then galloped off, crashing wildly down the precipitous church track known as the Donkey Road, which descends the cliff from the churchyard wall to the street below. At the bottom it turned sharply right into Henrietta Street, all the time picking up speed. The gruesome coach continued to hurtle along the cobbled street onto the adjoining steep cliff known as Hagalith and leaping into the air it plunged over the cliff's edge and into the foaming sea below. Not for the seamen of Whitby were the land-bound graves on the east cliff. The sea knew which souls belonged to her, and sent the Bargeist coach to reclaim them. The meaning of the name Bargeist. What does Bargeist, sometimes written as Barguest, mean? It probably derives from the words beer, a frame on which a body or a coffin is carried before a funeral, Cambridge Dictionary, and Geist, German, meaning ghost, and translates as a beer spirit, a funereal wraith portending ill fortune. <laughs>